All right, everybody, welcome back. Uh, this instructional video, we're going to go over uh, the calculation that you need to do um, between designing your bridge and building it. Okay, everybody's going to be given 10 of these balsa wood sticks. Each stick is 24 inches long, so you're going to start with 240 inches of material, okay? And you don't want 100 inches left over. Um, ideally, you want to give yourself, uh, you know, maybe 10 inches of balsa wood left over in case something snaps or breaks. Um, but nonetheless, you don't want to sell yourself short and you don't want to run out of material. So this, this video, I'm basically going to go over the importance of calculating uh, all the pieces in your bridge. Okay, so we're going to start off with calculating one of these trusses, adding up all the individual pieces and seeing what my total is. Okay, so it's, it's not as hard as it looks. Everybody's going to have a ruler, okay? Um, <clears throat> and so I know my bridge is 15 inches long, okay? So I'm going to write that down. 15 on the bottom, I've got 12 along the top, okay? And then that length is four inches, okay, just right around four inches. All of my triangles are the same size. Again, that goes back to some symmetry, um, having things, you know, work out uh, that way was somewhat uh, planned, but nonetheless, um, so with these equal triangles, I don't got to measure all of them if I know they're all the same. So if this one's four, okay, four inches long, okay, so I'm going to say one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. I've got ten of these web members that are four inches long. So I know that's 40 inches I've got to account for, okay. <clears throat> and then the last thing to add up are these vertical webs. So I've got three of those and I know my bridge height was three and a half per my design so three times three and a half. Okay. Okay so what I'm going to do, I'm going to total up those numbers. Okay. So let's see, three times three, ten and a half plus forty plus twelve plus fifteen. <clears throat> okay, so I get a total of 77 and a half inches of balsa wood that I need to build just this one truss, okay? Everybody knows, uh, hopefully at this point you know, um, that you're going to need two of these trusses to build a bridge, okay? <clears throat> Stand by. Okay, so this is a bridge from one of our uh, students that um, participated in this project earlier in the year. Okay, so you have one truss here and another truss here. Okay, and they're identical. Okay, so we've got to take this number for one of the trusses and multiply it by two. Okay, so that is 155. Okay. Um, so I've got 155 inches of my balsa wood that I'm going to use just building the two trusses, okay? And so if I start off with a, whoop, 240 inches of balsa wood, okay, I'm going to take that number, I'm going to subtract what I've totaled for the two trusses and see where that leaves me, okay? So that leaves me with 85 inches of balsa wood left, okay? So that's somewhat favorable, okay? I could have put a little bit more into my design, and I just might even do that, okay? I might add another vertical web here and here to, to stiffen it or to make that bridge a little more rigid, okay? Um, heck, I could probably even add verticals at each one of these 
uh, triangles. Um, I would just have to go through the same exercise that I did here and see if it works, okay? Essentially what I'm doing with this number that I get left over, in this case 85, okay? I'm gonna take that number and see what it leaves me as far as connecting these two trusses together. So you've got some top cord beams. Okay, this one fell off, this one has been tested. But um, nonetheless, you've got these top cord beams. And it's hard to tell in the video, but then you've got your, your road beams. Okay, so this is where a car would drive on. This is a real bridge. We're gonna call these our deck beams or roadway beams, okay? And this student had one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight pieces along the roadway, okay? And then this particular one, they did a substructure, okay? And this is kind of a unique design. Um, you're definitely, uh, you know, you have the option of doing something like that. Um, but nonetheless, that 85 number is gonna leave me a fair amount of balsa wood to connect these trusses together at the top cord and the bottom cord. And so if I know my bridge is three inches wide, okay, this relates in this fashion, okay, <clears throat> then these beams are gonna be three inches long, okay? So if I took 85 and divided it by three, that's gonna leave me 28 beams that I could cut and disperse between the top cords and then the bottom cords as far as connecting that bridge together. And so I might do a little bit of a balancing act here. I might go back to the drawing board and add a couple webs, um, but doing that is gonna take away from the beams I plan on using to connect the two dresses together. So evaluate it for what it's worth. And, um, you know, some of it's a little bit of a, a gamble at this point, but I think that's what makes it fun. So anyhow, um, you notice that I kind of drew in these lines real dark with the pencil and they correspond with the layout of these balsa wood pieces, okay? And I'll get to that when we start uh, cutting and assembling these trusses. But anyway, that's, that's it for now. Um, that concludes our video for how to calculate uh, your balsa bridge. We'll see you next time. Thank you.